everybody, Bear Belly here, and welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. Now today, we are playing Long Dark, the Long Dark, Dark of the Long. We are going to be playing Long Dark, and what the Long Dark is, it is a survival game made by Hinterland Studios, and basically all you have to do is survive in the Canadian wilderness by yourself, and wolves, and you have to find stuff to survive. So if you guys know what this game is, awesome, let's go ahead and jump straight into the game. Alright guys, so I thought about doing an interloper series, but I did not think I could survive that long on an interloper. Now, interloper is the hardest. There's like nothing. You can't find many items in the uh, world. So, we're going to go ahead and go into stalker mode. It is very hard to survive in stalker mode, but it is awesome. So, where do we want to spawn? We can spawn on the coastal highway, mystery lake. I think we should go on mystery lake. Or we could also go to, um, hmm. I think we're just going to do random. We're going to do random, okay? We're going to go and do random because I don't want to be cheating or anything like that by going to somewhere that's way too easy. I have the free runner sprint. So you sprinting burns 25 fewer calories. Okay, let's go ahead and sandbox one. Let's go ahead and do this. Mysterious geometric storm has brought your plane crashing down in northern Canada, Canadian wilderness. How long can you survive? That is the question. That is the question here, ladies and gentlemen, today. He knelt among the shadows and felt his isolation bitterly. They were savages, it was true, but they were human. William Golding, Lord of the Flies. I love how they do that. They put in really cool quotes in here. So where are we? I think we are. And there's, we spawn and there's a wolf right next to us. Okay, so we're going to go the opposite direction. Um, we are, I think, in Pleasant Valley or Mystery Lake. I think we're in Mystery Lake. I'm not really comfortable with this wolf over here. I don't know. Is he like, is he like, I don't, I don't know if he's like growling at me yet or, or what, but yeah, we're going to have to, we're going to have to do that. We're going to have to get away from this wolf. Okay. I think, I think we're good. You start sprinting. Now there is a sprint meter in this game. This game is very much, it's, it's a lot of fun. So. Basically, what the point of this game is, is you have to survive, and as you can see, we have in our inventory here, we have our fire starting kits, we have our first aid, our clothing, our food, tools, and of course, material for crafting things as well. And you can pick up things like rocks, which I think are used to, uh, you can hit, you can throw them at rabbits and then get rabbit meat and rabbit pelts and stuff. You can also craft things in this game. It's, it's very fun, but very difficult. So, that being said... Let's go ahead and start grabbing some sticks for fire starting material. Because as you guys can see, we are going down rapidly with our... You guys can see we are rapidly going down on our um, body temperature. So, and we were just sprinting. So, I think we're all out of stamina now. So, what we're going to have to do is just pick up some more of these sticks. And then I think that there is a derailment up ahead. Yeah, there's a derailment up ahead, and this is going to be... I think there's going to be some items over here that we can use. Um, we're going to have to let our stamina regen, regenerate. Um, now, I do believe that there are bears in this game as well. So, uh, we might be seeing some of our uh, long-lost brothers and sisters. So, let's go ahead and, and, and figure out what we're going to do. Where do we need to go? We need to go... And get some food. That's first things first. We need to go get food. And we need to go get water. Now we can melt snow for water. Or we can go find water and sinks and toilet bowls. It's just part of the game. I guess. Um, but that is going to be one of the first things that we're going to need to do here. Is get food and water. Get something establishment. Established a new location derailment. I can't jump in this game. But I'm going to have to. Uh... There's another wolf over there. Dang it. The wolves in this game are vicious. They will follow you. Wait, is that a rifle? This'll okay, so we found a hunting rifle, but we don't have any bullets for the hunting rifle. Um, hmm. We can search the metal container here. Ragged wolf sweater. We can fix that up and wear it. There's nothing in the backpack, but I'm going to go ahead and put on this ragged wolf sweater. Let me see. Let's wear this. See, and they say it's like 5% wet. This one's 5% wet as well. Um, but that just really helped us get some... I don't think the rifle has any ammo. Does the rifle, oh, we have a flare. No, the rifle does not have any ammo, so... But I'm going to take out this flare. Wait, what is that? Is that a dead person? Okay. 
There's nothing on there. We do have a med kit and another uh, flare sitting out here on the ground. Uh, we have some beef jerky. There we go. That's uh, That should be good. Should be good. Okay, first aid kit. Ooh, pain painkillers and things in this game. They really don't help you that much. I mean, they. I mean, I think that they. I mean, there is some benefit to having them, but I don't think there's anything up here. I don't think we can actually get up in there. No, we can't get in there. Um, but there is a wolf over there. So. Can't feel my hands. I know you can't feel your hands, buddy. We need to. We need to. We need to fix that. We need to fix that. We need to go make a fire. I think that's going to be one of the things that we're going to need to do. As well as find shelter because it is very, very dark out right around here. I've never felt so cold in my life. We've never felt so cold in our life, apparently. Now I don't know how cold it is outside, but I do know that there is one way to find out. Um But we are going to basically what how this series is gonna work, we're gonna keep going with the series until we die. Cause once you die, you're dead. You can't respawn. There's life out here. Uh yeah, fire's life. Uh, fire is definitely life. We're gonna need something to kind of, I guess, pass the time for just like an hour, I guess, until we can get some more heat. And our bodies, how much do we have? We have 20 minutes left. Hmm. It's not really enough time. We need to go. We need to go uh, up here, and we need to go find somewhere to rest or find somewhere to stay. We need some type of shelter, some type of indoors to stay at because it is way too cold outside. If I go into my inventory here, guys, and you look down here. Air temperature is 14 degrees, and it feels like 16 degrees out. So, 16 degrees Fahrenheit, ladies and gentlemen. That's frigid cold. I don't know if anybody here ever been in something 16 below or 16 degrees. Someone comment down below what the coldest temperature you have ever been in in your life. And I will respond to you what mine is. Mine, I believe, is negative 20 below. It's where... Because I live in, up in Alaska, so... The Alaskan winters can get very, very cold as well. So, that is probably the coldest I've ever been. You just want to lay down for a bit. Yeah, I know you're tired. You're getting tired. Um, there is a settlement down this way. Though, I do know that there is a settlement. And there's, I have matches. But why do I have my matches out? Don't know. Okay, let's open this door. Okay, what do we got in here? What do we got in here? Um, Practical gun cleaning or gunsmithing. I forgot. The new update of this game, you can actually create your own guns now. Or, like, not create your own guns, but repack your bullets and everything. Ooh, is that a hunting knife? We got a hunting knife. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, energy bar and revolver ammunition. Well, we have revolver ammunition. We don't have rifle ammunition, though. That's the only thing that we need. That would make this situation a lot better. What's over here? I see that sign. What does that mean? I think that means something. I just don't know which way to go here. Do we need to go over here? I mean, is there any ice fishing places, because I know that there's a little ice fishing, uh, train unloading area, you know, train loading area, so if there's a train loading area, there's gonna have to be a indoors area somewhere. Um, now guys, the geometric uh, storms will come, and once they do come, you will be able to, like, there will be northern lights and everything that's not, that's electronic will start to work. It's really weird. Oh, is this the, uh, hydro dam? I think I found the dam, guys. I think we found the hydroelectric dam. So, Oh, that's good. That's that's really good because in the hydroelectric dam, there's tons of different items that you can use. But first, what we're gonna need to do? Okay, that's a wolf. I'm backing up. I'm getting at it. No, sir. Let's go ahead and light this because they don't like flares. Um, there he is. You guys see him over there? You guys see uh, the wolf over there? I think you guys can. Um, hmm. We're gonna need to find something to use for firewood here. But the wait, do we have any cattail stocks? Cattail stocks are really good in this game because they really help you survive. Cattail stocks are, they're actually edible in real life, so, and their heads are very flammable, so if I go ahead and harvest these cattail plants, I get the stock and the cattail heads, which are amazing. They're, they give you some calories, they're not a lot, but it's enough to basically keep you alive in dire situations. Um, where do we need to go? We need to go, I think we need to go this way. Because we don't want to run into that wolf, but then again, I don't want to have to worry about it too much. Um, yeah, the hydroelectric dam is over here. I think the wolf was going the other direction. I guess we'll find out. I guess we will find out. I want to get a revolver at some point. Because I think that, that I could obviously have the ammo, and I think it's a lot easier to defend against wolves with a revolver. Um, but I wouldn't chance it. If I had to, I'd take a rifle. But let's go ahead and go inside of one of these things. Oh, there we go, guys. We are inside. We are finally in. Doors. We have some scrap metal. Ooh, what is that? Is that an orange soda? 
I don't know. I think one of the best foods in this game is pinnacle peaches. We haven't found any pinnacle peaches yet. Um, hmm, anything on the shelf? No. You need a hatchet to break down a lot of this stuff. Like this metal shelf, you need a uh, hacksaw to break that down. Anything inside of these? No, there is literally nothing in here. Hmm. Got some reclaimed wood, though. Is that a bedroll? Do we have a bedroll? I could claim that down for cloth, but I don't really need cloth right now. I don't have a sewing kit yet. Now, what cloth and sewing kits will do is it'll let you, uh... It will let you, what do you call it? You will be able to repair your clothing and things of that sort. So, I think we found everything in here. I don't think there's anything else in here. Now, guys, what I do ask of you, if I did leave something and, like, I missed something, please comment down below that I missed it and I will come back and grab it. Um, I know that that has been an issue before that I missed some things in some rooms and some of my friends have said, hey, you know, you need to go back there and get that. Let's go ahead and see what we can wear here. My hypothermia risk is going down, I believe. Uh, which one should I wear? The worn fleece mittens or the worn wool mittens? The wool mittens are, uh, they're warmer, but not by a lot. So, we're gonna need to go inside of another one of these little tents. Where is another one of these little cabins? I think I can go over here. Yeah, I think this one has more stuff in it. And this one actually might have a bed in it. So if we have to find a bed, I will go to sleep just to rest and drink up on some water. I don't actually think I have any water with me. Okay, so we do have some. We have an old baseball cap. I don't really think I need to wear that. This is not really going to help me much. Uh, I'm looking for rifle cartridges as well. Because I think there might be some in the in the dam, though. Because that might be... Like, okay, we're going to need a pry bar to get inside one of these lockers here. Hmm. Normally, if it's, if it's locked, this means that there's something in it. Not necessarily something good, but just something in general so we have a light source well um, yeah i think that is food buddy i think it is i wouldn't trust it but hey you know all right so i'm gonna go ahead and drink this soda just to get some little bit of food in us before we go to sleep and i'm gonna try to sleep for three hours just to get some warmth and to be able to rest up to before we hit the dam in the morning. Now, I think, I really hope that I can find some more flares or something. Because, as you can see, when it gets dark, it's dark. Okay, guys, so it's just around hitting nighttime. And I really want to be careful because I don't know where that wolf went. Okay, I think we can just run over here. Do we need a key? Is this locked? No, it's open. Okay. I know in the story mode you needed the key. I didn't know if we needed the key for this. Um, okay, I don't think there's anything else in here yet. We'll come out here and we'll we'll uh, we'll bust down some of these pallets and things. But yes. Yes. Hi hydro Carter Hydroelectric Dam. Um, Carter Hydroelectric Dam. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and go inside this place. This place is massive. There's multiple levels. It is huge. I love this place because there's so many different things that you can find in here. Like, like, all right at the bat, we found a jerry can with lamp fuel in it. What's in the briefcase? What's in the briefcase? Okay, there's nothing in the briefcase. Sometimes there's money in there, which you can actually... Money's pretty much pointless in this game to use as fire starters. Um, so, I think we got newspaper rolled. I think we have plenty of fire starters so far, though. I mean, I really think that well, we're going to be good. Okay. Let's look around here. We have these two over here. I think one of these is locked. Oh, wait, no, they're both open. So, I think what we're going to need to find... We're going to need to find a really good coat... And a pair of really good pants. That's going to be our number one concern here. Is finding those items. As well as just running through this dam. And just finding tools as well as maybe even some, some rifle cartridges. That would be nice. So I thought there's a revolver cartridge right here actually. So I found that. So I think that's... That's it, pretty much, for that little area over there. We have a... Okay, finally, we have a lantern. We got a lantern, guys. We got a lantern. That is that is huge, because the lan lanterns, obviously... It lets you see for a lot longer time than a flare does, but the flares are good as well. Um, now, I think there is a flare gun in the bathroom, if I do remember correctly. Yeah, we'll come in handy, buddy. You're right. Wow. Okay. We're gonna go ahead and search this locker. Find another wool... wool worn wool toque. Little toque. Um, there is not a flare gun in this bathroom. I thought that there was for the longest time. I guess I was wrong. Um, because normally there would be a dude sitting up against the wall here, and then there'd be a flare gun box right there. I don't know if it's in here. It might be in somewhere. Oh, guys, we found rifle ammunition, baby. We found rifle ammunition to load into our right. Wait. Show that there's already a bullet in there. But I didn't. Okay, so we found rifle ammunition. So ladies and gentlemen, you guys made it to the end of the video. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Now please go down below, drop a like, subscribe. Gently tap that subscribe button, not too hard. Oh, who am I kidding? You gotta smash it as hard as you possibly and physically 
and humanly can with your belly. And I will see all you guys back for episode two of Long Dark Stalker Survival. So, guys, I'll see all of you in the next video.